look, we've had a pretty bad year. We've had droughts. We've had, you know, everything. But at least we haven't had a frost in October. Fuck. Good morning. It is me and Slack. What are we doing? What are we doing? So we're just going to go check the ewes that are still lambing. And then I think we're marking. We are almost finished marking. I think we've got five paddocks left to go. I did see they're set up in one of the paddocks, so that makes four. After we're done marking, then we need to move on to bailing. Let's have some real talk here. It looks like there's no rain on the radar. That's not good, not ideal. Ideally, you need rain in October to fill the pods on the crops. Hopefully, you know, they there's enough in the ground to maybe do something. I think there's gonna be a lot of hay available this year because people are gonna be slashing crops. So it's a game of, is it gonna rain? If it's not gonna rain, we're gonna be offloading sheep off the farm because you got, we're, gonna, we're not gonna be able to feed them. If we do have rain, then we should be able to push through. But it's a gamble. Are we gonna get rain or is it all gonna to turn to shit? We'll find out. Stay tuned. But if we do get rain, it'll be a million dollar rain. That does seem to be the theme of this year is not enough rain. I have sourced 13.1% protein oat and hay from up near, uh, up in the Mallee. We're gonna have to go get that at some point. I'm getting a semi load of it for my sheep. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to sustain them. They'll probably need to be fed through to March, hoping we get rain. Uh, we'll see. I just bought the sheep. They need to fucking have at least one lamb. Hopefully multiple lambings. I think that's it for the introduction. Let's have a look around the paddocks. This paddock here, we haven't had too many problems. However, yesterday we did pull a hung lamb. Come on, push. Mama, I need a push. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. There we go. For context here, I went around the paddock and came back thinking, you know, she, she would have gotten up and she hadn't gotten up yet, so then we had to get her up. Come on, Mama, you need to get up. Come on. I thought you would have gotten up when I went away. Come on. Up you hop. Come on. Up you hop. Come on. Come on. Boo. Boo. There you go. She's up. I get lots of comments about like how it's so cruel that I make her get up and leave her dead baby. Livestock that's down stays down. It's so important that after a few lambs or a car cow calves that they get up. The longer it takes for an animal to get up, the less likely it is that they're going to get back up. That's why I make them get up. And then the second thing I get is, why wasn't there any attempt to revive the lamb? How long has the lamb been dead? Do you know? Because I don't. Some people seem to think if something dies, you can bring it back no matter what. That lamb had no heartbeat which means it was dead. How, how long ago did it die? If I do manage to bring it back, which is very unlikely, is it gonna have brain damage? It's not going to be able to get up and walk away with mum in you know the five, 10 minutes that you want them standing. So then what? Like people don't think about the logistics of a lamb having to, like in nature, prey animals need to get up and walk. You know, if that lamb is not up walking with mum within half an hour, an hour, it dies. It's as simple as that. That's that's how nature works. You think so, a lamb that's resuscitated from the dead is going to be able to do that? No. People just don't get... Death is not the worst thing that can happen to you. As for the rest of the paddock, they all look good. Fucking all the cords on the phone chargers seem to keep disappearing. Um... I had to steal this one out of the truck. See if I remember to put it back. First job of the day is we need to bring in the dry prime line. It's gonna be crutched. 
and then they're going to be shorn but we obviously need to crush them before we shear them because the shearers don't like doing the dags. Bye bro. <whistles> no, other side. So we need to put these in the yard out of the way and then we need to get the ones from behind who I think 10 of them have got lambs, the rest don't. Not sure what happened there. They right! So I should meet them. They've stopped. They've stopped. There she is. Good job. I know what they're gonna fucking do because every time we do this ladies you do the same shit when you do the same shit it becomes predictable and then mystic tara knows see ladies i knew you were gonna fucking do that i knew you were gonna do that before you even knew now i know you're gonna do this and then typo's gonna be here yep she will be come on no typo stay there good girl good girl very good good girl sort them out there we go. Come on, ladies. In you go. Thank you. Very good. Topo, can you go left? These yards here are totally fucked. If any, if any company out there wants to sponsor us some new yards, we've got two, two lots of yards that need to be redone and i want yards for my sheep my theory is oh come on don't do this oh no Fuck. come on it's been running so good all week just give me a sec sometimes you just gotta jiggle it show you what I'm doing. Yeah, so this car is like on its last legs, let me tell you. But basically, what the car does is, this part here, the connectors to the battery seem to like wiggle. Sometimes you just kind of got to wiggle them, get a bit of, bit of, bit of movement. Seems to, seems to work. Try it now. Come on, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Look how the battery is green. Like, it's, it's not flat. You're fucking lying to me. That insists it's the connection, so we're going to keep playing with it until it fucking works. Why won't you work? I don't understand why you just won't cooperate with me. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. <sighs> I just want to bring the sheep in, you know? You don't need to see see me try for this try it this far for now. We're getting a toe. Come on. There we go, we're off again. We're off, we're gonna bring this next mob behind in, pull out the ones with lambs, and then all the dries are going for a walk. Fuck yeah. Here's the dry I use and slightly wet use. Slug, would you like to assist? <whistles> creep them in, Slug, creep them in. This one here has got an attitude problem. They are very woolly. They are very ready to be shorn. Come on. Ma'am, I was 
gonna leave you behind, but if you wanna come, you can come. You have gone through the fence, so I don't really want you here, but you can come. We got him in. Oh, come with me. Good slack. Oh, we're going out here. Top get the sheep. Good girl. Come on, Topo. Topo, come on. Dad and Kev are checking those sheep to see if they've lambed. We're just gonna come down here. They're almost at the gate now. We just gotta push them through it and then we're gonna shut the gate on them. These were all scanned in lamb and none of them are pregnant. I don't know what that's about, but it's not, it's not. That's, for how many we got scanned, this is not a good percentage of, fa of like, of fuck ups. They've all got blue dots on them, so they're all supposed to be pregnant, but. Going into here, um, they've got no feed, this pack's got heaps of feed. So we're just going to move them over, then move the ewes and lambs that we've just done into this paddock. We're slowly plodding along, slug supervising. <whistles> Thank you. Save me the effort of having to climb up there. I say from the car. Oh, I put my hat on. Did I mention that? Oh, I don't fucking know. But the hat's on now. Come on, ladies. We did this yesterday when you were all marked. You can do it again. I know you can. Trust me. This time you want to come because you're going to get great snacks, great foods. It's a full buffet, if you will. Eight. Typo here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Good girl. Here. Typo no, back here. Good girl. Good girl. Good. There we go. That's all you need to do. Good girl. Sometimes they just need something to stand behind them. Typo up here. Typo up here. Good, good girl. I don't think that was in frame. Right, we'll shut these gates and then start bringing them over. Come on, push, push, push. Good girl. Push, 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 push. These ones have the right idea. Push, push, push! Good girl, good girl. Stop! 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 There we go. Mama's walking again. Some mamas respond to like the dogs really getting into them. Some of them prefer to like if the dogs just back off they'll, you know, keep walking. They're going in the gate. Beautiful. In you go, ladies. Typo, get in the car, good girl. Good slug. Good slug, get in the car, good girl. Straight into it, ladies. Good job. I promise you, I told you it'd be worth the walk. Was it worth the walk or what? We'll let the ones that were in the yards out with the ewes, the ewes and lambs. They're going in here. 
end. I'm hoping they're going to run past the car. They had no problems running past the car getting them in, so... Typo! There we go. They're back with their paddock. Bringing these down to the shed, I'm on 40% battery, so I kind of want to, you know, keep the battery going. Um, I'm going to have to plug it in, so bad luck. Get all these out down to the shed and... I suppose we'll see you when we get there. We're here. We're back. Yeah. That's a bit extra. Now, is it lunchtime? I'm hungry. We're an hour off lunchtime. That's disappointing. Yeah, so it's 10.47. Is that what I said? I don't know. Just pretend it's 10.47. I'm going to. But I'm going to go find out what Dad wants with them. Sounds like we're crutching in here. the boar's running flat out so I need to go check that the trough in here is working correctly because dad thinks the cows have moved it yep 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 that doesn't <sighs> the worst thing about it with troughs is this is where um, red bellies like to live is under and in um, like up there under there of the troughs. Um, she's a bit tight. Rude. What needs you actually? Oh, come on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Eh. Uh, that's lefty Lucy. Lefty. Oh. Is that working? Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. There is no water coming out. And that out while we're here. Well, for those of you, what I was trying to say before is. Is there any snakes? in here no this is where they like to live this is like that's like peak red belly living locations is near the troughs they love water maybe dad turn the bore off we gotta turn it on oh well it's quite fitting i'm actually wearing this shirt this is the company that makes our um bore pumps they're great pumps just at this very moment the cows fucked with the trough I'll make sure before I commit to running, before I commit to going all the way to the boar shed. Oh, I'm going to get bitten by a fucking snake. That's not coming up. I doubt that's been turned off because it hasn't come up. This here looks sketchy. You can see the dam's low when the, um, the water we actually fill this dam with bore water because this dam holds really well it's normally up here this time of year like look how empty it is it's meant to be here i'm standing in the dam right now it should actually really encase this but it's it's just like slow cows quick look 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 gone this is the other boar shed Snake, a tiger snake likes to live in this one. Are you here? Nope, not today. Let's we'll see if it's on. Oh, come on. Hang on. The water is coming out. I will go report the findings. Someone's turned the fucking bore off. Dad doesn't know who turned the bore off. Someone fucking turned it off. So now the fucking water troughs don't have fucking water because someone felt the need to turn it off. Typo, why did you turn the bore off? The way our bore works is the bore pumps the water up to that tank up there. Then it's gravity fed. So the water should run out into this tank here and then it goes amongst all the different troughs. But when someone breaks the line in the bore, 
then the board doesn't work. Check this tank. See if there's water going into it. That sounds to me like there's not. Empty. Up to the next tank. See if that one's filling this tank. This gate only opens this way. There we go. Here's your problem. How the hell did they manage that? Oh my god. Oh, fuck me. As I was leaving, I saw this. Like, this is meant to be on the fucking ground. Like, that's meant to go straight down. Like, fucking hell. The wind's moved it. Um, remember those days when we were having really fucking windy days? That's what's done it. The wind's actually, because it was empty, has picked the tank up and moved it. That makes sense. I was going to say, I don't know how the fucking sheep have done it. It's because they didn't. It's because the tank did it. Because Mother Nature decided she wanted to rearrange the furniture. I'm turning the pump off and then I think Dad's going to drain it. And it's going to have to be moved and then it's going to have to be refilled. Uh, scrote around. There he is. Look at him. Busy preparing his nutsack. But we're heading out. I think it's like a quarter to 12. Hopefully we can get these ewes and lambs in quickly. I've got a baked potato. A leftover baked potato with coleslaw and sour cream and cheese that I need to add on. But I've got the potato ready at home waiting for me. I'm so keen for my baked potato. Oh, what a surprise. This gate's fucking open again. I thought I was meant to be filming. We got them out of the first paddock. So now we just need to... This is lambs, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Got them through the first paddock. Just got three more to go through and then we'll be at the shed and then it's time for the baked baked potato <laughs> this bitch is causing fucking problems for no reason like your lambs are not that small that you're gonna have to car carry on bitch they're really not we're almost there prime lines are so fucking hard to move with lambs because everything has to take 10 times as long than it fucking should. Hello, it's me from the future. Just wanted to throw a bonus fight in the comments in because this video is lacking. It's pretty shit. Hello, creatures. They're very happy. We got them a nice big bed. That's what Typo got for her TV appearance. And she's very pleased. So we got this comment from Pink Kitten. And it was on the grassy video where I picked up the lamb that was going to die if I left it. A lot of people had problems with me picking up the lamb that was literally going to die. What can you fuck it? I'm, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. So why not make good fucking content out of it? That is cruel. To abandon a baby animal of any species. Exclamation mark. Exclamation. It's not the baby animal's fault it has flaws or anything bad. People should put themselves in their spot and try to imagine how you'd feel if your mum or dad did that to you. Exclamation mark. Double space. Maybe then you'd think twice before just dumping a poor defenseless baby. Exclamation mark. Heart emoji. Um, babe, I've got bad news for you. The lamb's mum was the one that dumped it. So I think the lamb can imagine how it would feel if its mum dumped it. Because it did. I don't know what more to say here. I don't... I, I, I saw this comment and it just... It did things to my mind. A couple brain cells leaked out. Next time I see her pink kitten, I'll let her know that um, she should think twice before dumping the defenseless... The poor defenseless baby. I'm sure she'll give a shit. Just like I do. Thank you for your comment. My potato was delicious, for those of you wondering. It was a good potato. We're back. Tilly's lurking. Um, we're just going to, I think the crossbreds are ready to go back. So I think that's what we're doing. Those prime lines have been crutched and the lambs have been marked. We're just running the crossbreds back. I've got the drone in the air. I've got 16 minutes of footage. So we'll see how, see how far that gets us. I guess enjoy the drone footage. I don't know.
need to bring these crossbreds over the um, other side of this paddock and then they are right. I'm gonna open their gate and then go back, let the prime lines out, let them start walking because they're coming back to this paddock here. Then we need to get the ones from the long paddock here and they need to come up because they're next on the list. Yes? Indeed. I'm gonna leave these ladies to walk home and hope like hell they actually walk home. Let's get you walking. Come on. They all seem to make it through the first gate all right, so hopefully. Seems like they almost made it to the gate. They got there and they stood there and looked at it. Not ideal. Hopefully honk the horn and they'll go through the gate. Excellent. They can all shuffle through. Then hopefully the prime lines that are over that hill come into over here. That's what we're hoping for anyway. So why as soon as they go through this gate, they start pushing that way, but they're all the way over there now. So now they're gonna have to walk all the way back over to the other side and then to the back. Like, these sheep, it's like these sheep didn't just walk down here uh, literally two hours ago. They are making it through the gateway now. Now I just gotta pick up all the stragglers that are walking slowly. Next slot is on its way down. I just shut the gate for the last slot. They had all gone through, which is good, very good. Um, this slot here is actually just walking to the gate, apart from this bitch over here. Fucking could you imagine them just doing the right thing? Just follow. You've literally all you got to do. You don't even have to think. Just follow the fucking tracks. Only the crossbred would walk out of the way of the gate. Are you for real, bitch? Thank you. Very good. All right. Let's head back. Just got the crate on. There's one mob here. Well, there's one lamb here that I need to load on. The lamb's guild will be going on Thursday, I think. The lamb will be going on that first load to the abs. Ah. Ah, let me grab that. Oh, this is the third time, dude. Come on. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Shh. Pew, pew, pew. your stop now you can jump out again please don't jump back in this time jump free <laughs> right off he goes that was a large weather so that'll be from the start of this year i think from the that first mob that we remember the first mob back in april I imagine that's where that one's from. Funny enough, it's actually being scanned as not pregnant, being a boy. Shocker. Um, anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like or slag will ultrasound you.